first things that I always do when taking care of my face and my skincare routine is remove the makeup. And I actually have um, a lot of things that remove makeup. Um, like I have the Sephora makeup remover. I didn't really like it at all. Um, and just plain washing your face is fine too. But I find that you, I really put so much... Um, strain on my skin around my eyes when I'm trying to just wash the makeup off my face because a lot of my makeup is waterproof and I found this I have actually had this for a while now and it still is like pretty full because you only need like a tiny bit because foundation comes off really easy but this is the Nature Republic Cleansing Aqua Super Aqua Max Moist Cleansing Cream um, my Korean is not that good. I'm still studying on Korean, so I can't really read the Hangul yet. So I can just like say things so far, but I can't really read it that well. But I'm still studying, so. Plus, it doesn't get that much attention because I'm also studying Cantonese and Korean at the same time. So, and I'm doing better on Cantonese. Like, I spent the most of my time on Cantonese because my husband is Cantonese, so. But that's what it looks like. And basically, it just looks like this. I'm not going to put it on because I actually don't really have any makeup on my face. I have just a tiny little amount under my eyes from where I slept. But that's what it looks like. It's just a cream. And then it turns into, like, a watery essence type thing. And you rub this on the eyes and it it smells amazing you rub this on your eyes and it'll remove the makeup actually I can probably use this and show you guys so you just take it and you don't need a lot a tiny little amount goes a long way cuz it's just eyes unless you have like a ton of makeup on but you just dab it underneath the eyes like this, and I'll zoom in. So then you just dab it underneath the eyes like this, and then you just rub it in with the most gentlest of motions, just like this. And the good thing about this is even if you get it in your eye, it doesn't burn at all. You, you barely even feel anything, so I just apply it under my eyes. And it'll remove anything else that is underneath or on your eyes. Focus on me. So then once that's on and it's done soaked up everything and removed all the makeup, I go on and wash my face. And these are the two face washes that I'm using right now. I actually have a um, blackhead remover face wash and I have another Nature Republic face wash but they're put up at the moment because I'm not using them. I'll use them once these two are gone. Um, but I use these in, I use these two together because they're two different things. And these are, this one is the Hello Kitty Acne Wash and this is the ugh, medicated one by Rosetti. Looks like this is from Japan. As you can tell. Um, and this stuff, um, I've had for quite some time. Um, I've been repurchasing this one for probably three years. <laughs> I so once that's, um, applied, I think twice, yeah, twice a week, I'll exfoliate. This is just, um, oh, I don't know if this is from the Dollar Tree or from Target. I think it's from Target. But I take this, it has like a hard crunchy feeling it's not really that hard anymore because I gotta buy a new one but you just stick your fingers in here like that and I just rub it all over my face and on my neck to exfoliate and it 
works wonders. Like it'll exfoliate all the dead skin off my face. I used to have um, a few acne scar, acne wash. It's com they're completely gone. Like they're not there. They're non-existent. So then after I use the medicated one, I go in with the apple gummage. Um, I showed this in my favorites video. Um, it basically, I don't read Japan either, Japanese either. I'm not even learning Japanese at the moment. That's later on my to-do list. But, um, basically you're supposed to put it on your face, rub it in, and then wash it off, I guess. <laughs> so, it's apple gummage, you put it on, and it kind of, it gets, it looks like it's removing your skin. I'll show you guys, just in case you didn't see it in the favorites video. It comes out, like, really super clear and liquidy. And when you put it on and rub it in, like this, do you guys see all that? So then, um, as far as the um, aging stuff, I buy a lot of anti-aging things. As far as that's going, I haven't found my favorite stuff yet. I'm going to start uh, buying some things from Etude House, but these are the samples that I got from... And these are like deluxe samples because I've had these for a very long time and they never run out. Basically, this is the one that you put on first. It's the Snail Solution 90 and I'm pretty sure you put this one on first because it's the most watery one. This one comes out with a very strange texture. It's kind of milky. And I put this on after this one and I'll just go ahead and show you guys that. So it just comes off the lid like that. The only thing I can say about this that I don't like is the packaging. It's very hard to get the product out of this. So basically you have to like do that. This one's easy because it's watery. So then you just take it off, put it around your face like this. And it is very super watery and I just take my two fingers and apply it all over my face. Um, my f skin is actually doing really good right now. It's not so red. Okay. So once I put that one on, I usually let it sit for 30 seconds. Okay. So now we're going to go in with the Snail Solution 80. This is the one that's kind of harder to get out of it's packaging. Get the product out. You kind of have to... That's what it looks like. <laughs> like I said, it has a very, very strange um, texture. <laughs> so then you just put it on. My husband said this looks... This stuff looks very questionable. <laughs> so... You just apply it on, avoiding my eyes, and you can also apply it to the neck if you put too much on. And I apply it so much to the forehead because I really hate having wrinkles on my forehead. I know that it's like a thing, like when girls will take pictures and then they'll lift their eyebrows and they'll have like the three wrinkles. I don't think that's cute to me anyway. For me anyway. My, um, one of my friends, one day I was taking pictures with her and she was like, oh my gosh, you need forehead wrinkles. And I was like, girl, I don't need any wrinkles. Thank you. <laughs> so I really work on this. I have no wrinkles up here because... I don't want any wrinkles on my face. So once I've put on both of those, I have some other samples by them. I have, um, I'm guessing this is the eye cream. I'm pretty sure it is. And even if it's not, I'm sure it's not doing anything bad to my eyes. It just looks like, ooh, focus, okay. And it looks like that. I'm running out. I'm almost finished, you guys, with this. And I haven't decided if I'm going to repurchase it yet. I might actually buy this one again because I like this one a lot. I like all the other ones, I just don't like the packaging. Like I'll repurchase them if the packaging is not like that. So next I go in with my 
um, Essence. This is also Nature Republic. As you guys can tell, I like this brand, the Aqua brand. It's amazing. I'm actually almost out of this, and I have to find how I'm going to repurchase it. The pump doesn't work anymore. I have to scoop it out like this. So I just apply it on the forehead. Get some out. Apply it on the cheeks. Just like that. And then I just rub it in. And you don't want to rub too hard. Sometimes I like to give myself a face massage when it comes to this to detoxify any um, toxins in your face. Because that happens. And then I just apply it all. And most of the time I give my face like a um, face massage after I've taken off the face mask. And as you guys can tell, I'm not really applying this to my nose because of the blackheads. I like to keep my nose relatively um, dry. And it's already kind of naturally oily, so. Okay, once that's applied, I'm going in with this. And all of these, again, are corresponding with, these, with each other. This is the Aqua Super Aqua Max Combination Watery Cream. And... It just looks like this. I'm almost out of it as well. I'm actually thinking of purchasing a different type of cream this time because I hate to use the exact same thing on my face over and over because I feel like it's not really... I like to give myself something else to... Like if it gets used to this, it could stop working with this, if you know what I mean. So then I just apply it all is going to have to be sunscreen. I'm on I'm on the hunt for a good sunscreen. I've seen some um, for Etude House, but I want to use these up first. These are just regular sunscreens. Like this one is um, a kid's sunscreen. It has SPF 50. It's not like for your skin, but or for your face, but I mean it can be. And this one, I don't even remember what it is. It rubbed off. <laughs> but I'm wanting to use up these before I go and purchase a another sunscreen and I'm gonna get it through Etude House because they have really cute packaged ones. Okay. And the thing about sunscreen is I like to wipe down like this to apply it. And this one does kind of give you a white cast but it goes away once you put your um foundation on so and if you let it set for a little bit it's not really white anymore get up in my hairline okay and guys putting um sunscreen on your eyelids is a must because you can get sunburnt on your eyelids use this one because i already pumped it out and i'm going to be using my real techniques stippling brush for this so i just put it on the face I was debating whether or not to use BB cream or not, but probably not. By the way, with these foundations, a little tiny bit goes a long way with me because I don't really need it that much. Is it does diminish the um, red marks, but BB cream is really shiny looking because in Korea they like the dewy type face, which I do enjoy having the dewy type face. But for as of right now, I don't really need it. So now it's time for concealer. I have the NARS concealer, but this one is the one that I'm most comfortable with. Okay, and then I just kind of look for spots that look like. They might need a little more attention. See, I'm almost out of this. It's almost gone. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my, it says expert face brush. I'm guessing this. And I kinda just beat it in there. And the good thing about my camera is that it is pretty high definition, so it's kinda like looking into a mirror. 
minutes. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look after I have done all of my makeup and my hair. I decided not to wear hair extensions today because I'm giving my hair a break. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please subscribe and like and comment down below what you think my next video should be or video requests and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.